Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, I just took off the parking brake and almost rolled off the, the cliff here. That would have been bad. Uh, in this video we are going to be doing the task called helping or help the evacuees. So for this task we need to grab two cargo containers which spawn in at this little river crossing-ish area. I don't know exactly what you would like to call it. I'm just looking, it's like there's no, there's not a waterfall, it looks like maybe when it rains it, it makes it a waterfall, but it's only temporary or something. But alright, let's uh, put that one there, let's see if we can grab the next one here. We busted out the large crane, I usually don't use this one, but it's probably a good thing that I did, because we could, uh, could definitely use it on this. Those, those uh, crates or whatever you want to call them, the cargo containers, those were quite far out there. Okay, good, we just cleared it. Yeah, we got two cats and it looks like we're taking different routes because I backed one of them up and I went forward with the other, so... Alright, let's uh, stop engine here, restore the crane, change trucks, hopefully both of these pack. Let's see. Pack, alright. Change truck and pack. Perfect. Alright, let's refuel from the Western Star. Alright, both of them are full. Let's go. So the reason I didn't want to go this way is because I thought I would have a hard time up here. There's some, uh, the rocks kind of get close together, I think. Or maybe it's the other way that I was, oh no, it's right up here. So you can see right at this corner here the rocks get kind of close and I had trouble, or I thought I would have trouble coming up, but I actually didn't. It just went right through it, so hopefully we don't have trouble going back down. I don't know if we will. It might be just wide enough. And yeah, we're, we're good. Just wide enough. So I could possibly turn the other cat around and come the same route. It's probably far better because this one's way more direct. This one's going sort of southeast. That one's going north. Uh, I mean northwest right now, but it ends up... Uh, I mean, I'll have to turn and go east so to make it back to this main road here. But yeah, um, I wanted to use the cats for this just because... I mean, there's only one vehicle with an add-on for crates, or I don't, I don't know why I keep calling them crates, but shipping containers, cargo containers, you know, whatever you want to call them. There's only one truck that has this unique add-on, so I want to use it while I can. I think it looks cool. It's, uh, I don't know, it just, like, when I think of people using the cat, I always think of people logging, you know, or pulling stuff out. Like, I don't feel like most people don't really use the cat for carrying cargo containers. But maybe I'm wrong. I, you know, could be totally wrong. Just way off base. Probably don't need that all-wheel drive on. Probably don't even, probably didn't even need to steal that fuel. I could probably use it. Actually, you know what? Because I didn't, uh, I didn't drive the other truck yet, I think I can see how much fuel this one took to get back. And round up, obviously, on that one, because it's got a longer route, but I think I can dump most of it, or part of it, back into the Western Star. And I might be able to use that, actually, to help the Twin Steer 5600 TS. We got a mission, and I don't think it's going to have enough fuel. So even if I park it on the way, that would probably help. So I probably will end up doing that. Because that's, like, the closest vehicle to it. All right, come on, don't hit. All right, we're good. No, it's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of funny we're using the cat on, like, the main road, you know, like... Probably one of the least useful areas to use this big cat, but... You know, if they would have put the containers in the top left corner or something, where you gotta go off-road a lot of the ways, it would have made it a lot better. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, we're at the gas station. We've only used 40 so far. We should have plenty extra. And I think I've told you guys before, there's a bunch of cats in the city here. And I don't remember which all buildings they're on, but there's a bunch of them around. I think, yeah, here's one right there. And I know there's another one up here on the house. I think it's on the garage or something on this house right here. Yep, I just saw it quick. Oh, come on. Well, I don't know if you guys gotta, gotta see it or not, but I saw it. <laughs> Probably because I knew where to look, but if you watch the video slowly, you'll be able to see it. And I didn't even slow down. I was going full speed. I was... I wasn't trying to avoid crashing. I was just trying to get a view, even if I lost the cargo or whatever. Yeah, this thing is a beast. I love it. I still remember when I found this thing, it was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We could use that? I remember it being in Alaska and it didn't have changed tires and I wasn't that great when I was driving back then. So it was kind of like, oh man, this thing's not that great. You know, it's slipping and stuff, but it's seriously a hog. It's just I didn't know how to use it right. All right, here we go. And one down. All right, so we used about 60. All right, let's let's uh, throw some fuel in there. Let's do something like that. I suppose we can hit up the fuel station. We don't got to worry about it. So yeah, now that truck's got plenty of fuel too. But basically, right here, I gotta take a right. Or actually, I think I can take a right. I think I've gone up there before. That's the road right there at the top. But or maybe it's not. I've turned down one of these places early. I know that. But I don't think it was that close. Yeah, I don't think it was. That's the river right down there. I think, I, I think I'm wrong when I said that was the road. Maybe not. That's that... Oh, I thought I saw something over there that I recognized, but never mind. Did I miss my turn? I feel like I did, but... Oh, okay, no, here it is. Yeah, I definitely came down over to the right more somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I think it was right next to that rock over there. Because I remember being like, well, this looks like a pretty good path down right here. And I just took it down with the cat. Because this road kind of goes to the right, you know? If you're looking at it this way. And I wanted to go to the left. So I just turned off and went down the hill. Got the low plus all the way up. Diff lock on. Don't know if we need it, but probably doesn't hurt to have it on. And yeah, I used to go through the water, but now I just go this way. I just run the tree over. There's kind of no point in going in the water, at least not right there. Save yourself a little bit of trouble anyway. And then you can cut through right, right by this white tree. There we go. Probably take that off now. Yeah. So it's uh, a little bit quicker, more direct route. I guess that's what you get after you take it a few times. You kind of learn the learn the ins and outs of a shortcut, make it a little better. Or not a shortcut, but a path, a, a route, whatever. Yeah, that truck's out of fuel. That one's out of fuel. Another one down the road's out of fuel. Whoa, we almost smashed into that. And even just up here on, at this warehouse, you can see the trailer right now. That truck has like 16 or something fuel. It was at like 6%, I think. Let's see if I can get you a, a view. Yeah. 
Honestly, that was a pretty good, pretty good turn giving you guys a view. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. Proud of myself on that one. And I didn't even crash after it. You know, I was able to still make the turn onto the bridge and still haven't crashed, but probably will soon. Sun's going down. Oop, a little bump there, but no damage. Yeah, I like the axe here. I think that's a good touch. Reminds me of the statue in Phase 6. And the second map, the far, way far north by the motel or whatever it is. I keep forgetting to go up there. Or not forgetting, I just don't go up there. I gotta go up there at some point. I only have like... I think nine? Nine, uh... Things left after this one and I don't know if any of them go up there. That just, that one seems intriguing to me. Maybe it's because I can't see it. So I don't know what's there. Even though there's probably nothing special. But. All right, I didn't, I just looked at our fuel. Remember last time we used like 60? And uh, yeah, we're at 120. So I mean, there's, basically no way we're running out of fuel. We don't even gotta stop at the gas station. We're good. <laughs> that one went flying. Alright, we're taking the gamble. We're not fueling up. Best in Canada. It's because it's the only one in Canada. Actually, I lied. There's some in the Yukon, too. Wait, is there? Now I'm starting to think. There's probably... I don't think there is a gas station. I think that's the only gas station in all of Canada, because there's not one in the Yukon, is there? I mean, I know you got a garage on both maps. I don't think there is a fuel station on, on Yukon. It's been a long time since I played it, but you guys will have to let me know if I'm just losing my mind or if there actually is a fuel station. I'm really trying hard to think and I can't. I don't think there is. Anyways, passing the fire department here. I tried to get a, a vehicle up on top of there, but I couldn't get... I got a, a truck on top of the garage, but I couldn't get it up to the next layer because I couldn't lift up or it was too heavy to lift up a, a crane truck on top of there. You probably could do it if you used some mod cranes or something, but yeah, I couldn't pick up a crane to get it on top of that building to get the truck higher up. All right, here we are. So help the evacuees, 620 experience, 7,150 for money. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel. And odds are, if you guys like this type of content, you guys will like content that I've made in the past and also content that I will make in the future. So, as always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.